Hi, everybody. Anybody here today yet? Hello, hello, Casey. Thank you for coming. We have a lot of items to go through today. I hope some people come on in. What have you been doing today? Did you watch Michelle's uh, sale? my dogs. Blue, that's a dog. Blue. Get down. Thank you. Ooh, you got some more light there? Where am I sitting? Trying. Trying to get light. Where am I sitting? <laughs> Wherever you can capture a spot. Have I got a pad? I just hold. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to catch it. Hold on. You got to get on your phone and... Get on my phone and what? Look up the YouTube channel. We didn't do that the last night. It's better if you do it that way. I see. Where is everybody? No, we showed up. It's a couple people. Mermaid, are you still here? Or did you leave? Hello, hello. Ah, there's Teresa. Welcome, Teresa. Me and Casey are here by ourselves, sitting around, waiting. Hi, Connie Cable. How are you? Yay! We're going to have fun tonight. We have 50 items to get through. Ah! <laughs> so, whoa. Tell everybody, come on, come on, come on. Hi, Randy. Michelle was here a while ago, like at 5.30. So I don't know if she's going to end up being here or not. <laughs> Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Hemlock. Hi. <laughs> 50 items today, guys. Can you hear me okay? We got a lot to get through. 
I've been shopping, so now I have to sell. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see. Are we at 6 o'clock yet? Okay, I got two more minutes. Hmm? Did you do my phone? I could. I didn't know how to get to it. Oh, the password. Yeah. yeah. There's vintage thrifted treasures. Uh, is that Laurie? Laurie? Oh. I forgot your first name. Tell me your first name again. I haven't seen you for a while. Blue Flamingo is in the house. Woo! Hey, Blue Flamingo. How are you? So you can, yeah, it's on live chat. You can see everybody. Okay, hey, sure. Grace, how you doing? Ducky Jones is in the house. Carolina lady, hello, hello. Sandy. Brian, you got to turn that down. They're going to hear it on here. Did I miss any? Oh, Vicki. I didn't get Vicki. Where'd she go? Vicki, hi. How you doing? Woo! 50 items tonight, guys. We're going to be going through them quick as quick as we can and um so i don't take any of trusty hucksters because i know he's having a big sale tonight i think i'm gonna wait one more minute before i start carolina lady did i say that name already So I hope everybody's had a good day. Um, I'm up to 109 subscribers now and doing good uh, with the uh, giveaway video. I have a lot of comments on there. A lot of people want to win. And just to remind you, um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, once you do, please watch the video um, of the giveaway. And then you'll find out how you can win a $20 credit either on the live sales or on my eBay, either one. And uh, tell your friends to join. I got to get this number to go up. I'm tickle pink that I've reached 100. Kind of incredible to me because uh, normally I'm not a real outgoing person. I'm kind of like sitting in the background, but I really wanted to... Uh, get this going. So I've been putting a lot of things on Instagram and trying to talk to people at the other sales and stuff. So woohoo! thank you, Hemlock Lady. Tell them all thumbs up. Um, this works like everybody else's live sale. Basically, uh, I tell you the number, no, I tell you the price, then I tell you the number of each item. And then if you're the first one on my feed, or my husband's uh, feed, whoever's watching it at the time. Um, 
then you win, you win, you win the object. But um, as far as going to my uh, email, my email is blueduffy at gmail.com. And that's B L U, no E, D U F F Y. So it's blueduffy, B L U D U F F Y at gmail.com. And um, I'll have that up on the screen a couple of times before the show, before the sale's over. Uh, what else? So you'll send your name, your real name, your real address, and then your PayPal information so we can uh, get your shipping amount on there plus whatever you spent. And then the invoice goes to you, to your email, and you um, pay me on PayPal. Uh, then I ship it out. So we're going to get started at 6.04. And the first thing I have on my list are these cute little boho salt and pepper shakers. And I call them boho just because of the little wicker things they're in. And they have like a leaf, a flower. They're painted pretty. I like them. They're like a real light blue. I guess you can see that. Real light. And they're both alike. And actually, when I bought them, I thought they were even older than what they looked because I guess they were so dirty. <laughs> but they're clean now. <laughs> On the bottom, I'm not sure what it says. Let me take a look. It looks like it says R&R, &R, just a capital letter R&R. &R. Oops. That might be upside down. So anyway, these salt and pepper shakers are $7, $7, and it's a number three, $7, number three. That's a salt and pepper shakers. We're calling them boho salt and pepper shakers, $7, number three. Okay. Any takers? Not yet. We'll go on. So I think I showed him before. This is what I call my little crazy cat because he looks scared with his eyes real big. <laughs> He's just a little figurine. Very cute. No nicks, no cracks. Uh, fair, yeah, feels real thin like Japan made, but there's no maker's mark. And I just love him. I've had him around for a little while though, so it's time he goes. And he is six dollars, six dollars for number seventeen. Six dollars for number seventeen. And then next up, this is a little bit heavier. This is a canister. It has beautiful fruit on top. It's in the avocado green, so you know about when that came out. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's a hand painted, um, like a hobbyist, because it's done so well. You know, but I've got a Blue Flamingo um, Mercadale. Um, Blue Flamingo wants number 17. Okay. Thank you, Blue Flamingo. Thanks, Bri. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to write this down, right? Mm -hmm. okay. You just tell me the numbers. Mm -hmm. Is it heavy? Yes, it's very heavy. This is heavy. So um, this part's heavier than this part. So all it has is a couple, some numbers. But it is beautiful. I love it. And that is $8 and it's number two. Whoops. $8, number two. <laughs> Crazy cat is awesome. <laughs> 
Yes, she is. And I'm going to put the soles over here. Yes. Okay, then next up is this Coleman pitcher, it's called. I guess, let me go back. There you go. So that's a real nice color. I love the color. So it's like an aqua and a cream. No nicks, no cracks. In beautiful shape. It says it was made in Germany. I don't know. Coleman. That's all it says. And... Only $13 for that picture, as big as it is. Compare it to my head. And it is number 80. Number 80. $13, number 80 for that beautiful picture. That's cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap. Okay, are we rolling right along? So we have this little small picture. Um, who did Blue Flamingo did number 80. Blue Flamingo, number 80. Okay. What, what was 80? That was the picture. Oh, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so this is a little... Um, creamer. It has an apple and a little bit of bananas on there. And it is a Japan piece. Um, we're going for $6 for that. Number 45. $6 for the personal creamer. <coughs> Number 45. That's pretty. That's that one. All right, gotta get something out of my way because I feel so pushed in. Next we have a little planter. I know you all like planters and you like critters. So this one is a panda. He looks like he's sleeping. Because <laughs> you don't see eyeballs, you just see the black patches. Uh, he does have some crazing. Don't feel any nicks or cracks, but he does have crazing. Can you see that? I don't know. It's dark. Hold, hold it behind your hand. Huh? Put your hand behind it and see if it'll show up. It's the lighting more than anything. I see. Um, there you go. It does have crazing inside. So this little panda is $7, $7, and it's number 55, 55, number 55, $7. And it's going to be for a small plant or an air plant, as Misty always says. I don't think you see pandas much. Randy Helming. Okay. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. So Randy gets the panda. Yeah, I don't see pandas much out there. Then next up we have, um, I'm just calling it a fruit plate. It came with a hanger on it. It's sort of got that mother of pearl finish. I don't know if you'll see the luster um, of it. I like the way it's all cut out like lace. Very old, made in Japan. Like I said, the um, holder's on there for the wall already. It's completely fine. I've had this for a while too. I'm putting it up for $5, number eight. $5, Randy, number eight. Randy, yes, I am feeling better. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. 
doing well. Hi, Triple S. That's um Dobby, I think. So this one's five dollars, number eight. And it would look cute on a wall in the kitchen. Very kitschy. Kitschy, kitschy. Oh boy, what's next? We have a yellow or amber cut glass. I think it's cut glass. Let me see. This little dish, it's kind of square and uh, wavy. It's sort of diamond cut on the edges. I don't know who made it. There's so many glass makers. KC, you're right. Like I had the animals, but boy, they do make some noise. <laughs> There's one rough edge here. Um, I just noticed, I didn't notice it before. Yeah, one rough edge. It's not a full chip, but it's roughed up. And that one is $7, number 27. $7, number 27. And then we have, we're going back to little animals again. I think I showed these, I don't know, a couple of sales ago. Um, kitty cat salt and pepper shakers. They're little, they're like, what, two inches high or so? That's about an inch and a half. Inch and a half, yeah, two inches cool. high. And they do have made in Japan. I think it's what it says. Yeah. Yeah. Does say made in Japan, but it's in a greenish blue, so it's hard to read on there. Um, I got an issue here. So those are $7. Seven dollars, number eighteen. Seven dollars, number eighteen. With the titty tats. All right, you gotta take him out. Uh, he's giving me. A... Go ahead, I'll watch it. Gotta take your dog out, guys. Be right back. Seven dollars, number eighteen for kitty cat salt and pepper shakers. No cracks, no nothing. Anybody? You don't like these little tabby cats? All right, Blue Flamingo. She must have deep pockets tonight. Thank you, Blue Flamingo. Okay, thank you, Blue Flamingo. I can't believe... Uh, Blue Flamingo's in the lead with uh, one, two, three, four purchases. <laughs> and what do we have up next? A little doggy. We have a little doggy. He's some kind of terrier. He is China. Real China dog here. If I remember correctly, yeah, this one, I didn't I forgot but then I remembered when I was showing it. it does have a crack on a back leg you can see it more on the inside than you can on the outside but I just want you all to know that okay so but he is so cute and you can put him this way or this way catty corner you know and let's see, I had them at seven. I'll sell them for six instead. Six dollars. 
and he's number 11. So he'll be $6, number 11. I forgot about his crack leg. $6, number 11. I think it's called an Airedale Terrier. I don't know. He's really cute, though. Got a little tail sticking up. So that one is $6, number 11, okay? And then next coming up is um, a little bunny made by, I think this says Napco. Let me see. Yes, Napco wear. So there's the bunny. He's holding some flowers. He's got a little puffball tail. And then there's his sticker. Nothing on the bottom. Oh, some kind of number. I guess it's a model number or something. But look at those eyes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Very cute eyes. Oh, Vintage Roots, you want number 11? Okay, let me write that down. Vintage Roots gets number 11, the doll. Vintage Roots. Okay. Yeah. Back to the bunny. And the bunny is $7. $7, number 19. Blue Flamingo um, at 18. Did you get that? Yeah. Seven dollars for the bunny, number nineteen. Oh, vintage roots collection. I got that one, number, number eleven. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Number nineteen goes to Carolyn Gattles. I got it. Thank you, Carolyn. Doesn't surprise me. Okay. Hi, Norma Jean plus one. Thank you for coming. Okay, we're down to this Lennox Trivet. I have a Lennox Trivet. Carolyn gave us number 19. I got it. So this um, is like ceramic here. I think it's a I don't think it's painted. It might be. Could be. But uh, it does say Lennox down there on the bottom. You put, see that? Put it up and hold it still. You hold it still for a minute. And go down. It's okay. very pretty with the burgundy and the um, blue ribbon, burgundy carnations, it looks like to me. It has a loop. This is like a rope going around, navy blue. And then on the back, it has a cork, corking. So you can actually use it. It's not just decoration. You can use it on your table to hold hot things. So this is um, $7, $7, number 81. $7, number 81. Oops. Yeah, I like the colors, too. So you can hang it on your wall and then pull it off the wall to use, you know, when you have something hot to put on the table. $7, number 81 for that trip. Okay, I'm turning a page. Next, I have some Merry Mushrooms. Um, the ones that are made by Sears. And they're like shakers, all three of them. You can't hold all three at the same time, but these two look pretty good. Uh, oh, no. This one has, it looks like a crack, but I guess it's not, you know, it feels firm like it's, it's not moving. So it has that crack. It does say Sears on the bottom. Yeah. 
those two and then this is the third one this third one has a darkness i just wanted you to know how it's dark around there i don't know why the, this doesn't have any cracks or chips though and it does have the uh sears thing on there also um so you have three three merry mushrooms shakers one really smelled like nutmeg so <laughs> hi oh my vintage how are you um and that is nine dollars for the three of them so you're essentially i guess paying three dollars a piece nine dollars and it's number 40. nine dollars number 40 for three No mushroom lovers here. They usually sell fast for D. That's why I went ahead and picked them up. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I have this cute brush. I guess it's a um what is it called? Silver. Not sterling silver, but you know. I'm not sure. And then here's the comb. Which kind of plate? Yeah, silver plate. That's what I was looking for. Silver plate it, and then it has some little roses painted on there. The silver is um, patinaed. Hi, butterfly nurse. Thank you for coming. And the brush looks very clean, so I wasn't worried about that. So it's a silver plate brush and comb set. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm asking $9, $9. Number 23, $9, number 23 for the set. Is my coffee cup over there? Where about you? A side table. Oh, yeah. It doesn't walk away, honey. I mean, does it have anything in it? Where you want? Okay, now I have another planter. This is a beautiful duck. Pretty good sized planter in nice shape. And the maker's mark says 1962 in Arco, Cleveland, Ohio, wood duck. So it's vintage. And it's amazing that that thing hasn't been no cracks or nothing. Must have been put away in a storage or something. <laughs> no kids around it, that's for sure. So that duck is $10 and it's number 16. $10, number 16. Here you can put it on that trivet. Careful. Okay, let's see who got that. Number 16, Blue Flamingo. Blue Flamingo. Come on, Randy, you got to be faster. Thanks, Blue 
go. Okay. Next up, I just picked this little book up because I buy books about my dogs. So I saw this Bichon Fries book and it's by Animal Planet. So I got that the other day. I know you all are dog lovers. And look how cute a Bichon Fries. So cute. I know Lori must have good internet, right? And it tells you a little bit about them, um, how to take care of them, um, what kind of personalities they have, you know. Um, good eating, looking good, feeling good, being good, in the dog house, stepping out. So that book, it's uh, $5.00. $5, number 50. $5, number 50. I don't know if anyone has a Bichon Fries, but I said, hey, what the heck. All right. We're going to have an offer up. We gotta set this timer. And this is gonna be on this blue set. I think I showed it on my uh, preview when I did my subscriber thing too. So this has a little vase. A little like trinket dish or whatever you want to put in that it's three pieces beautiful tray dressing table tray um, vanity tray you could call it I'm trying to find where that little now I don't feel it <laughs> there's a little tiny flea bite there it is it's not rough though so it's Hard to see. It is in the in the corner, like inside. But I just wanted you to know there is a flea bite there. Beautiful blue, though, isn't it? It's a beautiful blue. It does have letters in there on the bottom. Let me see. I didn't get a chance to look it up. Put all three on there together. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think it has a M, M I maybe, or Y M. I don't know. Let me see if I can get the camera to do it at all. Do you see it? Or maybe, it, maybe it's a W. I don't know. Anybody that collects glass know that symbol? Spin it around now. It might be upside down the way showing it. No. I'm trying to figure out how I had it. So there, it could be a W, right? I think it looks more like an M, though. Anywho, doesn't matter. It's just pretty. I think it looks more like an M, too. I love that it has a little vase to go with it. That's pretty cool. You don't see that very often, I don't think. So I have no idea how old that is or anything, but this is an offer up and I'm going to start the offer at 14 because it's three pieces and very unusual. So let me put the start button in here and we'll try this. Okay. Ready? Anything 14 or above, okay? And start. And that's for all three pieces, 14 or above. Give me offers. Oh, I like that the thing comes up straight to start. All right, cool. 14 or above for all three pieces. 
I've heard a couple people say it matched their bedroom, so it is a beautiful blue. Fourteen's not too high. Come on, guys. Sandy, fourteen. Oh, good. All right, so Sandy put in 14. Now my feet is behind yours. <laughs> what is it? Thank you, Sandy, for starting that for 14. Anybody else interested? Sandy for 14. Going once, going twice. 10 seconds. And we're stopped. Okay, Sandy Otto, you won that for 14. That's a good cheap, cheap price because I paid close to that. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Sandy Otto also won 16. Oh, uh, no. Oh. Connie Cable put 15. Okay. Bring your feet here. Let me see if we're seeing the same thing. Yeah, Connie Cable. I'm sorry, Sandy. Connie Cable got in there for 15 uh, before the stop, and your 16 came after the stop. So it's Connie Cable at 15. Thank you, Connie. Thanks, Connie. Sorry. Okay, Connie Cable. Uh, somebody told you to refresh. Uh, Teresa Bryan. Refresh? Yeah, I think she's talking about possibly refreshing um, the sale. The chat. Say that again. The chat? The chat. Okay. No, you're you're good now. You're good. Okay, I did. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw it. All right. Thanks, Teresa. Just got to write down Connie Cable's name so I don't forget. Okay. And no one wanted that uh, silver plated brush and comb still? That would look cute on the blue dish even, um, Connie. And that was number $23, $9 if you're interested. $23, $9. Now you're behind me. I'm behind you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I refreshed it and it came up the same on mine. Okay. Next up is a planter that I found at a flea market. Can you believe it? Doesn't have a crack or a chip on it. It is so cute. Has two frogs on a boot. <laughs> I just love it. You can see his leg hanging down in there. <laughs> it's so cute. No chips, no cracks. I couldn't believe it. It's like in perfect condition. It is older. It looks like it's older. I mean, I scrubbed the bottom, but you can still see. I'm like, well, uh, she wants to know how heavy it is, or is it heavy? Uh, it's a little bit more on the heavy side, but it's not that bad. Is my um scale in there? I think it is on the table in there. Yep, yeah, hold on. He's going to go get my scale, and we'll weigh it for you. The back of it is heavier than the front of it, so, yeah, it kind of 
unbalanced. You want yeah, to just a one piece? Yeah, just that. You just set it on there. Oh, look at it. Push the button, make it go to zero first. Um, 1.15. One pound, 15 ounces. Okay. So, thank you. So, for that one, it is, where's it at? In my book. That is $17. And it's number 21. 17, number 21. The number is 21. It's got a real lace here. Randy Hellman, 21. Randy got it? Yep. Okay. Thanks, Randy. Carolyn just about got it, but Randy won that one. Thank you, guys. It was just unusual. I really like that. Okay. Now we are on the Splendid. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> mm. Going in a little bit different area, a little framed work of art. Somebody stitched up. And it says, it is not about how much you love someone. It is about who you are when you're loved. And it says Diane Farr. I don't know if that's who wrote that or if that's who made this. Because I'm not up on my authors like I should be, I guess. And it's in that ging gingham, I guess you call that. There is no um, glass in here, so it's pretty light. So that is $6.00. Six dollars, and it's number four. Number four. You have a little wall to put that on. Six dollars, number four. Okay. Nobody's interested in that. It's kind of cute. Country-ish, I guess. Okay, next up we have this beautiful Lennox vase. I'm sure it cost a pretty penny in its day. It has high poteets, vintage finds. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta plug in or I'm gonna lose you guys. Hold on a sec. Sorry about that. So we have this Lennox vase. I had to plug in my computer. It's almost gone. Um, and it has dragonflies. Bumblebees. Dragonflies. It has beautiful roses. That darn ring light. I hate that ring light. <laughs> Beautiful flowers painted on there. I think it's painted. Oh, it has even ladybugs. Ladybugs. Whoop. 
And it says Morningside Cottage. I guess that's the, it's by Lennox. I thought it was beautiful when I saw it. It's kind of on the fat side, but it's pretty. <laughs> it has the gold up here, like most Lennox has the gold trim. Oops, had water come out. And it is, where did I, oh, here it is. $16, number 98, $16, number 98. Hi, Vinny. Listen, I am so sorry, but I'm going to have to go to the store. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Vinny? So again, that was sixteen dollars, number ninety-eight for the Lennox vase, and that's called the uh, what did I say? Morningside Cottage. I think it's very pretty. Okay. And we'll keep going. Nobody's interested in the Lennox. Next, I have a mushroom canister, just a small one canister. It's about from tip to tip, I guess, nine inches tall. Very cute. You could hold. Uh, tea in there or your sugar even because it's not that big it is a handmade plate piece it was made in may of 76 it says may of 76 has the little mushroom on the top Done in the brown, but the mushrooms look really cute. Okay, so that one is $9, and it's number 35. $9, number 35. Tea and crumpets. I don't, I can't do, <laughs> I can't do that, Vinny. <laughs> I'm doing good. Yeah, better today. Better today. Anybody interested in the canister for nine dollars? Number thirty-five. Next up is a praying girl and boy. I'm sure you all have seen these before, but they never die down. Seems like they're always a thing. So this one is the boy. I don't see any cracks or anything. He has a little bit of something on his hair that I couldn't get to come out, like a dark spot. He's in the blue. Um, no maker's mark, just has some numbers, 5211, I think it is. I don't know. And then this one is the little girl. And she's kneeling down praying also with her long blonde hair and her ribbon in her hair, pink, pink little nightgown. And she has the same thing, just some numbers on the bottom. So these two together are $8 and it's number 20. $8, number 20. Oh, I know. When you take the dog to the vet, they always hit you with it, don't they? 
And Carolyn wins the praying girl and boy. Thank you, Carolyn. I appreciate that. And like I said, they're in perfect shape. So very cute faces on them. Uh, not that I can think of right this minute. Okay. 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 Next up is this old Mickey cup. Mickey, this is blue. Do you need the phone? No, you can have sure. it. Yeah. I hate what I have. Can I leave it running? Well, I'm gonna do that. And it says made exclusive, exclusively for Walt Disney, <laughs> made in Thailand. It looks like one of the stacking cups, so I'm sure it was a set, but all I have is the one. And this is going to be $6, number one. $6, number one. $6, number one. Anybody want Mickey? Okay, Blue Flamingo, you have Mickey. All right, next up is another planter. Thank you, Blue Flamingo. This one is the donkey that I showed in the preview. He is so cute. I love the color and it's really hard for me to sell this. <laughs> oh my God, he's so darn cute. He reminds me of, um, I can't think, Eeyore. He reminds me of Eeyore. And anyway, so he has a little hat on and he's got the cart, but it's like a log that he's got on wheels. And it is was used. I did wash that, believe it or not. I don't know what you use to get that old stuff out, but I had a little bit of bleach in the water, but I didn't want to put too much because I didn't want it to mess up. He's all glazed, but the wood log is not glazed. It's like matte, you know, so I didn't want to mess it up. So that's what that looks like. And I'm sure it's Japan, just there's no maker's mark whatsoever. Isn't it cute? I love that color. I could just, I'm dying giving this up. So anyway, he is $10, $10 for him. He's a pretty good size. No nicks or cracks. It does have some wear around the edge here, but no nicks or cracks. $10, number 14, number 14, very light, very light. $10, number 14. All right. Oh, Blue Flamingo, what's your internet? I want to know. <laughs> It came in as Blue Flamingo first, then Hemlock, then Triple S, then Carolyn, then Norma. <laughs> Hemlock, Hemlock said, damn it. <laughs> so that goes to Blue Flamingo. Woo -woo! Thank you again. Okay, next up, oh, we're turning a page. Um, I'm not sure if I ever showed this or not. Can't remember. Have I showed this before? It's a little music box. Little girl, she has beautiful eyes with a doggy. She actually has a doggy. Blue dress on, no nicks or cracks. Very cute. I don't know what it plays. 
Let me know if you want to hear it. <laughs> she is $10, number five. $10, number five. Little Music Box Girl, number five, $10. All right, going forward. Do I have the right number? Yeah, number five. Okay, next. Uh, I know I showed this before when I first got them. So I did mark this down a dollar. The scarf with all the embroidery of the flowers. Pastels. The other side is just like that. Very pretty. It's not white, white. It's like a linen color. Little, I mean, it looks white on the table, but it does have those little dots in it, like linen, you know, just so you know. It's about three foot, maybe a little bit longer. No uh, stains, no marks. It's in beautiful shape. Can you see any? I didn't see any. Okay, so that is $7 and it's number 36. $7, number 36. No kids for you, Vinny? <laughs> Well, you're still young. You might change your mind later. A lot of responsibility though, isn't it? So that's $7, number 36 for the scarf. And next we have I have an old book. And this is for a Singer sewing machine. This was my aunt's who passed away last year. And I don't sew. She had given it to me, but I'll never use it. It's gonna sit in a closet. <clears throat> And it's sort of set up like a binder, how to, how to sew. So knits, dressmaking with knits, has all kinds of stuff in it. Dressmaking skills, tailor a jacket. I don't know if anybody sews out there or wants to sew. Draperies, slip covers, curtains. You name it, it's in here. Helpful hints. Or if you just like the cover, because it's a Singer sewing machine. I don't know if it's worth money. It says Chicago, Illinois. And let me see if there's a date. I didn't even look at it, to be honest. Printed in the USA. Oh, 72. 1972 it has on there. And then I was throwing these in too, because that was in the book, in case anybody likes 
anything like that. And it is what I do with the thing. Oh, nine dollars. <laughs> Excuse me, number thirty. <laughs> nine dollars, number thirty for the book and the old patches. Nine dollars, number thirty. Hey, Stella. Hey, Stella. What are you doing? Anybody like that? No takers on the sewing book. All right. Now I have a Handmade or hand painted, I should say. Hand painted kitty cat, white kitten, and a yellow boot. It's a bank. I don't know if anybody uses banks anymore, but it's a bank. She's cute. There is a thing in there, there's no name or date. If you're interested in the little white cat, it is $5 and it's number 25. $5, number 25. It's very cute for like a baby's bedroom or a little girl's bedroom. I know my one granddaughter, she would probably like it, but she lives in Texas. So, <clears throat> so $5, number 25. Leave him alone. Next up, no takers on the kitty cat. All right, this is beautiful, but I didn't realize that the handle is cracked. The handle is cracked. So you would only be able to use this for decor only, decor, whatever. Um, it is a Delph. That's why I'm selling it. Otherwise, I would have just gotten rid of it. But I think it's really pretty. It is Delph. It is signed. Um, if you just want to put it on a shelf, you definitely wouldn't be able to see that cracked handle all the way up on a shelf. And I'm letting it go for $5. Oops, number 15. $5, number 15. For the Delph pitcher, creamer. Okay, $5, number 15 for the Delph pitcher. All right, wake up everybody. We have a teddy bear. We have a teddy bear next. And his head comes off. He looks pretty old to me, but when I cleaned him up, it says 1982. I guess that's not that young, but it's not that old. Um, and it says Houston Foods, I think. Hey, Teresa's awake. That's the teddy with the bow from 1982. And it is $8, number 34. $8, number 34 for the teddy. And I guess you could use him for sugar, jam jar, whatever. $8, number 34. I think he's cute. 
That's why I picked them up. <laughs> no takers on the teddy bear either. All right. So I picked up this book and I thought it was about boxers. Um, it says pet trouble. So I thought, oh, I'll get this because I think somebody has a boxer. But um, it's actually a little story about a kid's dog that's a boxer. His name's Tombo. And he's destroying everything. Furniture, clothes, shoes, and maybe even Michelle's relationship with her BFF. Michelle knows Tombo doesn't want to be bad, but is there any way to make him good? <laughs> so this is a whopping $3. $3 for number 52. $3 for number 52. If you know anybody that likes to read, that's kind of on the young side. They have a boxer, maybe. <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh, the Cocker Spaniels. Who likes Cocker Spaniels? That's a whole family. Well, it's a mommy and the babies. Daddy's out working or something. Or maybe that's the daddy and the mommy's out working. So I think this is a home interior piece. I kind of remember it. Yeah. Home co. No chips or cracks. It is porcelain. No glaze on there. And it is $8, number six. $8, number six for the Cocker Spaniel family. Anybody like them? No takers on the Cocker Spaniel. He's cute. He looks sad. He needs a home for him and his two babies. I know someone needs some Cocker Spaniels. Come on. I think that's what they are, right? With the big ears like that. No takers. That's number six, eight dollars. Okay, next. Now we have a cat. Um, this is made by M. Requena. Does anybody know that artist? M. Requena from Spain. And it does have like the stuck out flowers. This one's probably lost a petal, but um, you can't really tell. This kitty cat was made by M. Requena in Spain. He's well known there, or she, she, he, I don't know. No uh, chips or cracks, except for maybe this rose is missing a petal, but I'm not positive because it doesn't like really show up. Okay. Thank you. So that is $8, $8 for that. Number 22 for the kitty cat, $8. 
We still have plenty more to go. We have um, a lidded bowl. I think it looks like a powder puff um, bowl. I think this was used for on the dresser. You guys tell me what you think it looks like. It has some gold trim all the way around. It was made in Germany. When the lid comes off, it's beautiful in there. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. Yeah, I got them. And I do have a maker's mark, E-R-P-H-I-L-A, Germany. When I looked up these pieces, oh, who did 22? Teresa? Teresa wants 22. Thank you, Teresa. Back to this. When I looked this name up on eBay, they were, you know, a pricier, pricier piece. Not crazy pricey, but a little bit. And definitely looks older to me. So it's, it probably is an antique. Um, this is $14. Now, eBay, they were like 20-some, so I'll just let you know. $14, number 12. $14, number 12. That's pretty good. Well, that's a big, that's a nice size piece there. It is pretty. Made in Germany. Yeah, I'm back up and running. Okay. And uh, you can look up some pieces under that maker's name and um Triple S Mercator watch number twelve. Twelve. <coughs> That's this. Okay, triple S. That's Dottie, I believe. Dottie Lynn. Guess what, Bri? What? This pen isn't working. Uh -uh, I can get working. All right, I got it working again. <laughs> I'm having a problem with pens. Thank you, Dottie. Every pen I grab, it doesn't work or right, I lose it. Teresa Bryant, did I say a number 22 for you or? No, 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 it went back. It went, never mind, never mind. What? Nothing. I got Teresa's. Okay. Okay, Christina's in the house. Hi, Christina. Next up is this little Lennox thing. I don't know what it's, I guess it's for a candle or I don't know. But I just got it in case you want it. You could, it looks sort of like a drum, but I don't know if it's missing something. That's what it looks like. That's what it says on the bottom. And I have it for $4, number seven. $4, number seven. An air plant, there you go. <laughs> That's Misty's uh, answer, right? Not for cheese, an air plant. <laughs> All right, next up we have some more glass. Did everybody get their boxes from last time? You should have, or you should be getting it tomorrow, by tomorrow. So I have these and I looked them up. I have two. And I just forgot who the maker is. Was it Indiana Glass? I can't remember. 
but they're banana boat dishes is what they call they call them you know like a sunday banana boat ice cream thing that's what they said now you can use them for whatever you choose but i'm selling the two of them together for that's a pretty blue 13 number nine 13 number nine for the two um banana boat blue glass no chips or cracks Tell them an interesting blue with a very pretty blue i had to unplug my lamp because my computer was dying yeah that's an unusual one that i like that it looks dark back here but mm -hmm. what kind of blue would you say that is Anybody know? Like a teal blue? No? I don't know. It's a little bit darker than that bedroom set I showed you. Any takers? Next up. Uh. Teal blue? Yeah, Christina, I think so too. And then Mrs. Yeah. Benny said he thinks it looks like a deep ocean, but that's really cool. Yeah, you're right, Benny. Um, can you give me that wood bead thing? Mm -hmm. and oh, it's right there. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm trying to sell this. I think it's a hot plate thing. And I mean you can use it for whatever you want. You could put a plant on top of it, you could use it for your food when it's got in a hot dish. You can hang it on the wall for decoration. You can put it on a shelf. Kind of looks boho too. So you can use it for some kind of decor like that. And I'm asking $4, number 13 for that one. $4, number 13 for this. Okay, number 13, $4. There you go. Next up. A cheese shredder. Um, two trivets. Yeah, there's trivets there. The yeah, that's a good idea, Benny. Thank you. The dragonfly ones. This one here? Uh huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I have two trivets that have dragonflies on them, they were made in Thailand. There's two of them made by Copco. And you get two for $12. And it's number 50. Two for $12, number 50. These also have a hanging thing. So you can hang it on your wall for decoration. Then when you need to use it, you just take it off the wall and, and use it. They have the little feet also on the back little rubber feet and again this is number 50 at twelve dollars number 50 twelve dollars these are nice and heavy duty they're not going to wear out right away or ever or ever i don't know what what kind of metal that is what do you think it might be aluminum but um i'm not sure no, it's too heavy for, too heavy for aluminum. aluminum yeah so anyway it's dragonflies number 50 Twelve dollars. All right, there you go, hon. Next on our list is three little Yorkie puppies. There's two, three. And Here's the first one. Uh, Teresa uh, Bryant wants number fifty. Teresa wants 50. Give me those. Thank you, Teresa. Thanks, gotcha. Teresa. Let me write that down real quick. Oh, Teresa says she has a Yorkie. Yeah, I grew up with them. We probably had six of the whole time. Great dogs. Here's one. That's a little red bow. No nicks or cracks. 
Here's one. They got like their tongues sticking out. And their little tongues are like pinkish. They're not all the way white. I don't know why it's showing so white. That's that one. And then this one's sort of laying down. And these are um, Home Co. also. Home Interiors. So you get the three of them for $8, number 43, number 43, for $8, 43 for $8. I'm sorry, did, did Teresa, uh, she got number 50, did I tell you that? Yeah. Okay. Number 43 for Teresa. 43 for Teresa? Mm -hmm. Okay, Teresa. Thanks, Teresa. Okay. Moving along, we have. Can you get me that pottery cup thing? This. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You came home just in time to hand me stuff. Oh, let's knock this over. It's this, it's this oh, I haven't gotten to that yet. So this is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's pottery. It's cute. Right, I don't pottery. think it's a cup, but it doesn't have a spout to be a creamer. So you tell me what this is. Coffee cup, probably. I had Teresa Brown for 43, right? And she, yeah, we got that. Okay, never mind. It's a pottery travel mug, is what Vintage Vinny said. Okay, if you say so. It's six dollars, number fifty-eight. It's got a coolness factor, even if you just want to decorate with it. I like pottery, so pottery's so expensive, though. If if you you know, like we were up, where was it, Brian? That we were at. When we went on the Gatlinburg. Yes. We were in Gatlinburg. And Let's it's see. so expensive up there for the pottery that they make, but it's beautiful. I love looking at it. Oh, another air planter. Another air planter. <laughs> All right, number 58, $6, and it's yours for the coolness factor. <laughs> and then we have um, that whole set right there. Brian, can you hand me that? Mm -hmm. We have the... Push it along quick because Trusty Huckster has a sale coming up. That, that's you, right? There. Mm -hmm. So this is a whole set. Very pretty. I just got this from a lady. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So you have the sugar and the creamer. And then the salt and pepper. I love those colors. That yellow Salt and really pepper. Retro. Yeah, the yellow and the wheat. Very pretty. They have cork bottoms. This one's in there. This one's in the actual hole, but this one's inside. And I'm sure they're Japan just by the weight of it. It doesn't have a maker's mark. No chips or cracks that I saw. This is the sugar bowl. This is the lid. I think it looks very retro. I like it. My mother had that wheat in her house for quite a while. Dishes. So that whole set, sugar creamer and everything, is $13, number 60. $13, number 60. Well, come on, Grace. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do is put number six O in there, and you got it. <laughs> Thirteen dollars. That's cheap, 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 cheap. Even has gold on that creamer handle. Hello, empty nesting two. Have you subscribed? I don't remember hearing Empty Nesting 2 before, unless it's somebody that 
Sugar, oh. creamer, salt, and pepper. Sorry, Grace. Hope everything works out. Oh, that's right. She's the one that has the boxer that was sick or something. Okay. Well, we tried them. Maybe next time. Um, yeah, I don't know where it's at on my list, but did I miss it? Or give it to me. I think I missed it from before. Here's another little glass dish that I missed. Yellow leaf. See the yellow? Can you tell? And it is six dollars number twenty six. Six dollars number twenty six. You guys don't like yellow? What's wrong with yellow? It's bright and cheery. <laughs> six dollars <laughs> number twenty six. <laughs> Dana, your dog really needs to get a jock. That's awesome. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay. Give me the little boy. And you might as well bring that other planner too. That's next. You really got this worked out nice, honey. And the planter. Okay, got that. You got it? Okay. Next up is this little Moppet boy. I think he's cute. I love his look. Just sitting on a box, waiting for you to take him home. And it is made in Japan. It says 1971. That's all I can read. It's called Moppet or Moppets. You see that? 1971. Vintage. Number 65, $5. Number 65, $5 from Muppet. My little boy. Um, okay, um, is it Cheryl? I believe it is 65. I don't know, because mine's really slowed down. Yeah, 65. Cheryl, um, Megason. Good. Thank you, Cheryl. You have 65, right? Or did you? Yep, that was the boy. Okay, good. Cheryl. So, Mitch is finished. Which Muppet is he? Not Muppet. Moppet. <laughs> good one. Ha, ha, ha. All right, where's the planner? Planter, right there. Oh. She looks old to me. Yes, it's very old. <laughs> All right. Has anyone seen one of these in a while? Now, the antique lady that I go to, um, she claimed, because I paid up for this, that this was hard to get your hands on anymore. So I don't know if she was fibbing to get me to buy it, but he is cute. Look at his face. <laughs> I think he's cute. Cheryl Megginson didn't know we were having a sale. Come on, honey. You got to get that get that marketing out there. Always having a sale on Thursday at 6. Every Thursday at 6. It's on Instagram normally. No nicks or cracks in this thing. But I don't have a maker's mark. But it feels light like Japan. It's not very heavy. Well, it's not that big either. But it does have the planner part. So, he wants you to take him home. And he is $9. $9. Number 10. $9. Number 10. For the elf planner. These cards are hard to hold. Uh, oh, see, Carolyn Gattles, number 10. Yay, Carolyn! Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, thank you. Where was that at? Here it is. Carolyn. Do 
You should ask Triple S Mercantile. She likes this kind of stuff that maybe we can look for it. She was right after Carolyn, but didn't quite make it. Yeah. She always, um, she got a lot of them, though. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next thing is um, hand paint it. Uh, is there anybody that doesn't like clowns here, like Misty? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Hemlock. She didn't get it again. <laughs> All right. So here's a little clown. He's been hand painted. He's very cute, though. He's not a scary clown. He's a happy clown. No uh, nicks, no cracks. Someone put felt on the bottom, even. So this is someone's ceramic uh, hobbyist project. project. So that's one. And then he's got a partner. And this one's like laying on his stomach. Very cute. Not scary. And I think they're painted really well. Mm -hmm. I am not sending it to Misty. She'll just throw it in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> you know how she is about clowns. Where's the card for these? Oh, here it is. Cut. Uh, 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 no, you have two more pieces down there. Those I know. Okay. Um, so the two are seven dollars. Seven dollars, number forty-one. Seven dollars, number forty-one for the two. Two of them. I can't hold two of them. I might break them. That's one. That's two. No takers. All right, I'll have to send them to Nesting Haven. She likes clowns. <laughs> Here, take these. All right, what's next? What's next? Let's see. Let's see. Well, these are painted really well. Huh? Aren't they painted good? Yeah. That's why I bought them because I was like, man, that's good. Mm -hmm. a pretty good paint job. Yeah. Um, that bell is next. I can't reach it. And you have another little picture there too. Is that yeah, there? that's next, tell. Okay, here's the bell. Careful, dear. Sorry, honey. So this is a Bradford Exchange Bell. Has a little hummingbird as the uh, clapper or whatever you call it. Are you sure? Which one is that? This is um, number 33. Is that right? No. I got it. Okay. <laughs> so this is nine dollars, okay. and it's number thirty-three. Nine dollars, number thirty-three. Bradford Exchange has the gold trim. It's done very, very well. Still has the tag hanging. I think I sold a purple one of these that I had. Yeah, Vinny said it looks like a. It is. It's a dinger. It's a dinger. Yeah. It's called a clapper. It's a dinger, and it has a dinger. A dinger that has a dinger. <laughs> it's very pretty and a nice pink with a lot of gold on it. What is happening? I keep on going over further and further to the wrong side. Again, that's number 33. Nine dollars, thirty-three, nine dollars. No takers on a Bradford Exchange. Did you take nine cents? LOL. Vintage Vinny. Really? Really? Do I have to talk to you? <laughs> Here you go. No takers on that, hon. Next is the bunny, bunny pitcher I have. Yeah, this is what I found with it, isn't it? No. Okay, uh, there's, is it $8? Yeah. It's, $4. it's number, it's, uh, yeah, it's $8. 45 This is the bunny pitcher. I just found this the other day. I really liked it. 
I like the design of it. Look at that handle. Isn't that cool? It would be a cute for at Easter or any time in the spring. Even has flowers on the spout. It does not show me a maker's mark, but I loved it anyway. And it is $8, number 45. $8, number 45. Woohoo! Who's my bunny lover? Dottie. <laughs> Dottie, are you still there? <laughs> $45, $8. Number $45, $8. We're going to go to the next one because it's getting late. And the next one is the gold glasses. Oh, I got them on the counter. <laughs> Just bring me two. Just bring me two. Oh. On the counter drying? Ah, I see. I'm looking for a pair of glasses. <laughs> so I have four of these glasses. Very 70s, maybe. Brian's saying they're 70s. I don't know. What do you think? So these are four of these for $9, number 87. Four of these. We still have water in them because I was washing them. <laughs> Four of these for nine dollars, number eighty-seven. You know who I think likes the bunnies? Lynn Hampton. That's who I was thinking of. Teresa, just move some stuff around. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Four of these beautiful retro glasses. I know what she means, though. Four. I know I got to clean out my closet. Please. <laughs> Brian said, please. But Brian's like, buy some of this stuff. I have too much stuff in my house. <laughs> Brian's pleading. Come on, Brian, please. <laughs> I do like them. Four of these for $9, number 87. Yes, Teresa, that's a good idea. Buy more shelves. Okay, next up are, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. A green depression glass dish. And I guess I ordered my black light, but I haven't gotten it yet. So I do not know if this glows or not. Green depression glass. It has grapes on it. It's just one dish. I think it will glow, but I'm not going to guarantee it. It has grapes, has that big star in the middle. That's pretty. And that is $8, number 70. $8, number 70. Any takers for the green depression glass? $8, number 70. If you know anyone that doesn't belong to my channel, oh, thank you, Cheryl. Uh, please let them know that I have sales every Thursday and I'm trying to add to my videos now also and get them to subscribe, okay? We want to keep on getting people on here so it makes it worthwhile. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. And maybe the next time my black light will be here. <laughs> I also ordered my label printer. What was it called, Bri? You remember what it was called? I didn't know you ordered it. You did? Yes, I Yay! did. I ordered my label maker. Oh, my God. For my post-its. So that's coming, I think they said September 1st or 2nd or something like that. No more box delivery. <laughs> no more ugly black magic marker. <laughs> 
For the bunny picture, where's the bunny picture? Number 45, $8 for the bunny picture. Helen Casey. Did you want the bunny picture? Yes. Yay, Helen. Thank you. Thank you. That was number 45. Let me go back and put your name down. Casey. Helen Casey. Now, you know that if you bought something tonight, please go to my email. It's blue duffy, B L U. D-U-F-F-Y at gmail.com. Yes, I ordered a Rolo label promo. Yes, that's what I that's what I ordered. The Rolo, Grace. So you like that? You will not be disappointed. <laughs> Good. So it's blue duffy at gmail.com. No E on the blue. Blue B L U. D U F F Y. Yeah, Mr. B's been waiting on that uh, label maker for quite some time. Yeah. Okay, back to what I was doing here. Let me see. Let me see. I have some old Corel. Are any of you interested? It's seven plates and three bowls. Yeah. And it's called Ribbon Bouquet. I looked it up. It's a um, retired pattern. We've used it for quite a while. And um, I have seven plates, three bowls. It's $8, number 95. Seven plates, three bowls, $8, number 95. The Any bowls are pretty plain, just have a gray going around. Any platters? I know we did have one. I don't have any platters, yeah. no. And uh, Lisa wants number five or uh, ninety-five. That's the corral. Okay, Lisa, you got it. Oh. Okay, Blue. Oh. Blue wants to go outside. Oh. You can take them. Oh. You want to go, Blue? Lisa, what do you want to do? Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate that. What do you need, buddy? Does anybody need me to go back on anything else? No platters. Sorry, empty nesting too. Oh. Gotta run. Bye, Denise. Thank you for staying. Tell them to go to so and so's sale afterwards. Yeah, you know, um, Trusty Huckster is on um, with four four sellers today. I believe it's today at eight. Vinny, are you one? I think you're one, aren't you? Can I please see that yellow salt and pepper? Yes, you can, Slick Hendricks. Let's see. So it's this sugar bowl. Come on, beautiful. Hey, come on. And then it has the nice lid. Come on, Jenny. Good girl. That's the sugar bowl. Let me find room to put it. This is the creamer. Very retro, I think. My mom had something like this. Okay, Vinny, I'm going to send everybody over to you guys. Thank you for being here, Vinny. And the salt and pepper. Okay, so that's that. Um, I forgot the number. What was the number? Yes, it is $13, number 60 for the sugar and creamer. Teresa, you want it? 
Oh, Slick Hendrix. Thank you. Gotcha, Slick Hendrix. Thank you so much. Just got to find a darn pen. I got you, Teresa. I know it's not you. Slick Hendrix got it. Slick Hendrix 941. Okay, so that's all I have tonight. And if you guys need to see something over again, I'll be happy to show you. Oh, good. I'm glad it's going to a good home. Um, if there's any questions, Connie wants to see the, the, tri the trivets. I had the Lennox one for $7, number 81. And I had, uh, where'd those other ones go? Let me find them. <laughs> My husband, oh, they were sold. The Dragonfly ones were sold. And the dresser scarf, the dresser scarf was um, number 36, $7. Empty nesting, it's um, 6 o'clock for me, 6 o'clock. Connie Cable, you want 81? Gotcha. Jenny, you okay? Yeah. Gotcha, Connie. And Vicky wants number 36. Vicky Haney. You guys make sure you're subscribed on my channel. Make sure you send me an email, blueduffy at gmail.com. B L U D U F F Y. I live in Dover, Delaware. Empty nesting tube. I start at six on every Thursday. Six on every Thursday. I like to try another time, but um, there's so many going on right now. So I got Vicky for number 36, this scarf. And I have um, Connie Cable for the Lennox Trivet. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate that. Now make sure you all go to Trusty Huckster and watch his four people sale. I think it's four people. And um, next Thursday, I'll see you guys, okay? I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Um, I wish we would have had a little bit more time so we could have chatted more. But, um, you know, it's so many sales going on. So I know you want to get to the next one. Um, Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Teresa. Good night, everybody. See you next Thursday, 6 o'clock.